sit down, we are right to look at Okay, let's go. Okay, in today's video, we are debunking the myths about software development slash engineering in South Africa. Let's go. Honey shade. <laughs> technology two terms that are often used interchangeably are software engineering and software development while they share similarities they are distinct disciplines with different focuses and responsibilities in south africa most people who refer to themselves as software engineers or hold the title of a software engineer are just software developers i understand that this may not be well received by many people but allow me to explain my perspective right a software developer primarily focuses on the practical aspects of writing code and developing software applications. They work closely with requirements and specifications to create software solutions using various programming languages, frameworks, and tools. Their main goal is to implement functional software that meets user needs and project requirements. On the other hand, a software engineer takes a broader perspective and applies engineering principles to the entire software development process. They are involved in system design, architecture, planning, considering factors such as scalability, efficiency, and maintainability. Software engineers focus on the overall structure and organization of software systems, ensuring they are reliable, robust, and adhere to engineering best practices. While both software developers and engineers create software applications, software engineers have a broader role that involves considering the engineering aspect of software development beyond just coding. They are concerned with the entire software development lifecycle from design to deployment, while software developers primarily focus on writing code and implementing specific functionalities. In South Africa, most individuals who hold the title of software engineer or identify themselves as such primarily focus on writing code and implementing specific functionalities in software. These tasks are typically associated with the roles of a software developer rather than a software engineer. However, a significant issue arises due to the prominent use of the term engineering, which leads to some individuals becoming fixated on being to referred as engineers. So, a lot of people in South Africa just enjoy having the title of engineers. That's why they are so quick to call themselves software engineers. Meanwhile, what they are doing is just plain the software development. But I know a lot of people are going to argue with me on this. Just go online and Google the two things and try and understand it, and then you'll be able to understand what I'm trying to tell you guys here. So let's just leave it there. In recent months, I have encountered many individuals who have been led to believe that pursuing a full-stack development is essential for success in the South African market and that full-stack developers earn more than any other type of developer. Allow me to address this misconception and provide clarification. This belief is not accurate. In South Africa, there is a demand for back-end developers, web developers, and front-end developers, with each specialization holding its own value and growth potential. And by the way, back-end developers tend to earn more than full-stack developers in the South African market. However, I do encourage individuals who are embarking on their development journey to consider starting with full-stack development. This approach offers the advantage of gaining exposure to both back-end and front-end aspects of development. By familiarizing themselves with both domains, they can make informed decisions about specializing in back-end or front-end or even pursuing full-stack development in their career. Let me make this clear. AI won't make software developers obsolete. For example, ChatGPT is an AI language model designed to assist and provide information, but it doesn't possess the same capabilities as a software developer. Software developers bring a unique skill set and expertise. They possess they possess a hey, English. They possess deep knowledge of programming languages, frameworks, and software development methodologies. I understand that most experienced developers are not yet concerned about AI because they have deeper understanding of the complexities involved in our work. So it's only the people who are outside the development space that are concerned about AI. Allow me to provide an example to illustrate this point. When working on projects, there are numerous factors to consider, such as existing systems and integration with established infrastructure. AI would not possess knowledge of these factors, but developers would have the necessary information. These are aspects that will prevent developers from becoming obsolete. 
AI would be beneficial to developers as it can assist in solving complex problems they may encounter. It can aid, offer suggestions, and streamline certain tasks, making it easier for developers to tackle challenges efficiently. AI can augment their capabilities and enhance their problem-solving capabilities. In summary, while AI can be a valuable tool for developers, it cannot replace the unique insights and expertise that developers bring to the table. Developers possess the in-depth knowledge of specific systems, business requirements, and industry practices, making their role indispensable in software development. AI will work alongside developers, offering support and facilitating their work rather than being rendering them obsolete like so many people think. And just a quick advice to the university students, please stay away from ChatGPT or any other form of AI. Many individuals are drawn to the field of technology or development due to the belief or perception that it's a lucrative career path, promising significant financial rewards. Unfortunately, this notion is not entirely accurate. For South African companies to offer competitive salaries in the development field, one must possess exceptional skills and proficiency. Essentially, you must be able to produce work that generates revenue for the company. Only then can you expect to earn substantial income. It's not automatic like some of you guys have been led to believe that you get in tech and then automatically you are making shit loads of money. The other problem is that there are many developers out there who have a habit of lying about their salaries. This behavior is influenced by the culture we have created where we give people respect or gas them up based on the belief that they are making a lot of money. And it's wrong because you are giving people false dreams. Let me clarify this situation regarding South African salaries, especially for interns and juniors. Most interns are paid as little as 3000 and juniors can earn as little as 7500 Therefore, graduates or individuals entering the development field should be aware that they will start with the low salary and gradually increase as they gain experience. If an intern or junior working for a South African company tells you they are earning 30k, 40k, 50k a month, chances are they are lying. So don't be discouraged if you are currently earning a small salary. Focus on becoming a skilled developer and the financial rewards will come in due time. So guys, stop lying about your salaries. You are confusing a lot of people out there and selling them false dreams. Because when they come to development, they expect to earn all these shitloads of money that you are lying about. Only to find that they don't get it. And when they don't, they end up being discouraged and not being able to reach their full potential in the development space. So please, The question I frequently encounter is whether mathematics is necessary to become a developer. The short answer is no, it's not necessary. However, the long answer is that Mathematics teaches more than just numbers. It teaches problem-solving skills. Many individuals who struggle with, math with mathematics often struggle with problem-solving in general. In software development, you are presented with problems that require the use of various algorithms or approaches to find solutions, like how you are tested in maths or you are given a problem to solve. I am not implying that one cannot become a software developer without the knowledge of mathematics. What I am saying is that if you have difficulties with mathematics, you may in counter challenges in certain problem solving aspects of software development that require solid problem solving skills. It is important to understand that while mathematics is not a prerequisite for being a software developer, certain areas, actually not certain areas, all computer science degrees which are considered the most important qualification you can do will always require you to have mathematics background. I don't know if that makes sense. I don't, it doesn't even make sense to me. <laughs> Do you need a university degree to become a developer in South Africa? The short answer is no, you don't. Many software developers and bootcamp graduates often emphasize that a degree is not necessary and there is some truth to their claims. However, they may not provide the complete information on this topic. It is worth mentioning that some companies in South Africa do make a university degree mandatory for developers. Even if you possess great intelligence and extensive knowledge, you may miss out on opportunities solely due to the absence of a formal qualification. To avoid finding yourself in such a situation, it is advisable to pursue a degree or a diploma as it will undoubtedly benefit you in the long run. 
Now let me further elaborate before self-taught individuals criticize my statement. While some companies do require a degree, there are companies that hire self-taught devs without any issues. If you find yourself in a situation where attending university is not feasible, you can opt for the self-taught route or consider enrolling in boot camps as an alternative path to acquire the necessary skills. I believe I'll conclude the video at this point. I will leave a comment below this video and if it receives 500 likes, I will create a new video discussing salaries, imported languages and frameworks in the South African market. It has been a wonderful experience and I truly appreciate your support. Please remember to leave a comment, like the video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much and goodbye. <laughs>